Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video I want to show you something. See here, I have this Excel. Here I have two sheets. But I want to show you the information of this sheet in ServiceNow. I hope you are able to get it. I have total two sheets. Okay. And first sheet is this, second sheet is this and this is the details or the data which I have in the sheets like demo sheet 1 is having three rows you see these are the three rows in demo sheet 1 as well as for data sheet 2 you see the data here so are you interested to look at the script definitely I'll show you let me go back to this background script and here I have used glide excel parser so this is the API this is the class which I have used so you have to use this and its functions to get it done so let me go to the script and tell you step by step so in the very first line we are creating the glide excel parser object so this is the namespace and this is the name of the class you see so here the object is ready in the second we are just creating a new object for glide sys attachment okay this is also one of the class in this glide sys attachment we have a function called get content stream and in that we are passing the sys id of the excel which we have uploaded okay so you can upload the excel to any of the record and from the uh, sys attachment table you can get the sys id of that particular attachment so in this function we are passing the sys id okay and then at line number eight we are setting the source of that parser okay that parser dot set source this is also one of the function and there we are passing the attachment stream object which we have created once we are able to set the source then it is time to get the sheet names so get sheet names is again a function in the parser that is parser dot get sheet name you see you need not to do anything just use the functions line by line and tada the work is done once we have the sheet names we are just displaying those sheet names using comma like this here okay and then the iteration starts now we are uh, you know traversing the sheets one by one and displaying its content so here you see this is the for loop the for loop is running till the length of the number of sheets so right now we only have two sheets so the loop will run two times then after asterisk we are displaying the name of the sheet it is dot i right so so it will print the sheet name one by one after that in line number 12 we are using this set sheet name where we are setting the name of the parser sheet and we are passing the particular variable here and then finally we are parsing the details okay using this dot parse function and then finally we are retrieving the column headers here using parse dot get column headers functions and displaying it like this we have these variables and then you see one by one we are printing each and every value so once the headers are printed you see here we are printing the headers then now it's time to iterate uh, uh, the rows okay so now you see parser dot get rows function is used and then finally in line number 38 you see we are printing the rows okay so ladies and gentlemen this is the simple script which we are using you will find this script as it is in the service now spectacular dot com copy it and then use it and you can Traverse, you can parse any of the Excel which is available in a very simple straightforward way I hope you like this video just comment in the comment section whether you like it or not what else you want okay we are waiting for it thank you so much bye, -bye.